This is the first time the wife gets to drink in nine months. One sip and I'm gonna be drunk. Is it nine months? How long's it been? Yeah, nine months. What is it like? Almost ten months. Change? It's almost ten months. Yeah. They should tell you you're ten months pregnant, not nine. I haven't done this in so long. You excited? Mm -hmm. You going into DTs? You didn't even toast me. I meant to. Taking a sip and didn't even toast me. It's everything I remember and more. So we were fortunate enough to have Caden born before Mother's Day. So she actually gets to have a Mother's Day. And he, Caden, got her this gift that he made himself. So here you go. He's going to hand it to, ma out. to Mama. Don't touch him. Don't wake him up. Should I open the card first? Sure. Some great handwriting. I think he does gold. too. He learns fast. I have so smart. And those are balloons, not little semens, unlike the wife thought. Well, how pretty is that? It's a weak me willow tree. That's my favorite kind I of tree. I know. Oh. And see, that's... that's oh. And what are you doing? You're watering <laughs> plants. That's so we're watering his 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 tree, like through education, through family, through giving him a jump start on life with college funds. He'll always, like his, he'll always have this picture of me looking like a four I know. Free. That's why I put that on there. I thought that was great for the first, because you're actually watering something with him, the tree. I love it. Thank the you. family tree. Thank you. So. This is my first time being alone at night with the baby. Say hello. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did you hear his burp? Oh. Look at his old man hair. Isn't that funny? So far, I've been peed on, I don't know, like half a dozen times or so. Almost pooped on. I was in the middle of changing his diaper out. And I, as a safety precaution, I put another diaper underneath the one I'm about to take off, just in case. And also, because of the peeing on lessons, I've learned that you put a towel, a little small baby hand towel that you use to wash them with. Buy a bunch of those. Use those little deflectors I put uh, right over his penis so he doesn't hose down the middle of the room, which he did quite a few times. It's a learning process. I've never been around a baby. I've never really held a baby much. I've never, I was only a child and I, I just never had any kind of, I always avoided babies, like with a passion, because I didn't want to, uh, not that I ever. I didn't ever want, you know, not that I've never wanted a child. I do, of course. And I'm, I'm totally happy. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't imagine this not happening, put it that way. But back to the story about deflecting pee and poo. Uh, put the backup bag, uh, the, the, the new diaper underneath the old diaper so you can take that off. If you've got something right there to catch any kind of explosion and naturally the diaper kind of folds forward and it, Acts as like a mud flap for the poo not to shoot too far away. And you got to hurry up and clean him. Put the butt paste on so he doesn't get a rash really quick and get out of there and put it back together. And also put the rag over the his uh, penis so he doesn't squirt over into the middle of the room. No joke. Like the first few times it seemed like he would spray because we're going to change him every time he's got dirty diaper of course so you go do that one's a poo hadn't peed yet or he peed like an hour ago and he's going to pee again and you change him for the poo lo and behold he starts peeing and no kidding but like baby strength like they throw a ball like across a room and it's crazy strength same goes for the urine i think because it sprays like totally across his bedroom and my opinion you know you, you want to convert maybe a dresser into a changing table it's totally worth buying an actual changing table that has a couple shelves underneath it because you can buy those little uh, uh, storage cube 
things, and we've got six of them total. And each, you know, one's for diapers, one's for towels, one's for like essentials that you would need right then. Uh, a wiper, a warmer for sure. Um, but yeah, you know, since I use the deflector, use the pad, uh, diaper underneath, everything's worked out great. He did one amazing thing with with projectile poop, and I changed him. Blew right past the di diaper flap. And it shot from one side of the chain table over to the other one, just, just poo. And that was super spooky because I was pretty close to that. And the smell of his poo is intensifying quite a bit, so uh, that's kind of neat. But none of that stuff kind of bothers you because it's your own, sort of. It's your child's. Now, if it had been some other kids, I'd be like, get this off me, you know. They didn't get on me, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, kids are totally fun like once you get past the two weeks the first week was total hell nightmare figuring him out figuring out the process what to do week two getting better once you get home from the hospital you know you're, you're in your own environment you're in your element and you can work on the process and then three week three you kind of sort of nailed it there'll be surprises along the way but it gets a lot better week three was like a huge blessing of enjoyment finally we can enjoy him for him and start looking at his character he, he'll give you a little smile every once in a while through some crying or something and you end up like i laugh every time i hold him so <laughs> he just laughed you hear him anyway that's to catch you up with where we're at now where we're at now on week three and a half or something like that because he was born on may 2nd five pounds 15 ounces he was originally due May 19th, and then it was going to be a scheduled C-section from the 12th or the 5th. Blood pressure got crazy, so they took took him out on the 2nd. So he's a little underway, but we're working on getting him there, and he eats like a little pig, so it won't be long. He's like my little frog. He looks like a tree frog sometimes. How he uh, puts his feet out like a frog sitting or something like that. Just remember, if you've got a grill, like I have my first baby ever. I've had this thing for like eight years. Something like that, I think so. But this is a Weber Genesis older generation 310S something or another, I don't know. But the uh, cast iron grates and the flavorizers in the bottom kind of get a little rusty, so I gave her a makeover. Hiya! That's hot. Look at that beautiful thing, though. It's all stainless. Stainless grapes, stainless flavorizers, so this should last a lot longer.